Hello and welcome to the fourth mini lecture on the scientific procedure. My name is Dr. Martin Hughes and today we're going to be doing something slightly differently from the other videos. We're going to be going through um, looking at some videos that I've recorded here in Australia and you guys are going to actually extract your own data. So last week we looked at data, experimental design, and this week we're still looking at data, but now we're looking at data collection. And next week we'll look at data analysis. So we're using the example three, the final example that we have here, bird species using bird feeders. In Australia, there's some fantastic species of birds. We have galahs, crested pigeons, rainbow lorikeets and cockatoos, among many others. Um, quite exotic looking animals. And the experiment that we are going to look at is quite a simple one that you could maybe set up yourself. Um, but hopefully from this video, you'll be able to collect your own data and then we can analyze that data together. So what, what were we talking about? Let's remind ourselves. So our prediction is that different species of birds will spend a different amount of time at a feeding station. So where there's a food source. And therefore our, our hypotheses looked like this. Uh, our null hypothesis are H0. There is no difference in time spent at a feeding station between different species of birds. Our alternative hypothesis then, or H1, is there is a difference in time spent at a feeding station between different species of birds. Okay, so how are we actually going to test these hypotheses? Well, luckily for you guys, you're not going to have to go out and do this unless you want to repeat the experiment, which would be awesome as well if you want to go and do that. But we're hopefully taking some stress away in terms of data collection. And it took me a, a little while to actually collect this data. I had lots of food um, lying around for the, the birds and it took about five weeks for them to start feeding. I think one of the reasons was there was a lot of food already available to them. Um, as in Bathurst, kind of central west, rural, rural Bathurst. And um, yeah, there was plenty of food. So I don't think the birds were too keen to start eating the stuff that I was putting out for them but eventually they did come and we managed to get, get some uh, some video footage so that's what we're going to look at for the remainder of this lecture so it's going to be a little bit different so first of all what you're going to have to do is open your internet explorer we're going to go into YouTube and we open this up here we type inspiring ecology. We'll have inspiring ecology here. So we just click on inspiring ecology so we can get to the channel. Pause that. So we've got the channel here and you'll see these little bird tides. So what we're going to do is go into playlists. We're going to go to virtual heights. This is what we're going to be working from. Virtual Heights, pause the first one. So this video won't be here. We're going to remove this video. Um, but we go to Virtual Hide 1. You can see Virtual Hide 2, 3, 4, and there'll be a fifth coming on as well. So if we go to Virtual Hide 1, okay, so we have a video, we've got some bird seed, and we can see the birds coming in front of the video camera and recording them feeding. And then they fly away usually, not after spending too much time. Okay, this is basically it. Okay, we've got a, a lot of videos here, a lot of time. We see another bird coming in feeding and then it will fly away as well. And we see this for different species, luckily for us, um, coming in at different points. So you'll notice here that there is a We've got some mealworm, some seeds, pineapple, which I've been told you don't do now, so don't put any citrus fruits out. Unfortunately, out of screen here, we had a, um, a big cherry tree and there was lots of cherries in the ground that I saw them feeding upon. So I moved them into view, but they were already there. And basically this is it. So we, we can see, move the cherries in here, we can see the bird species interested in coming to the food source, the feeding station. And what we're doing is timing the amount of time that they spend at the feeding station. So we have a magpie here being mobbed, so he's not having a good time. So what are we doing? How can we extract data from this? Well, basically what we're going to do is look at all of these videos and time 
use a timer to get a length of time each species spends at the feeding station. So how are we going to do that? Well, quite simply, if we close this or minimize it. So it might be quite different if you're using a Windows. I'm using a Mac, so it might look slightly different. But if you type in stop watch into Google. Okay, we've got a stopwatch here. Most people have one on their phone. Or if you've got an actual stopwatch, that'd be awesome too. But what we're basically going to do, this is how we're going to approach the whole data extraction. So if we remind ourselves what our null hypotheses were, oops, wrong lecture, sorry. Our null hypothesis was there's no difference in time spent at a feeding station between different species of birds. No difference in time spent. So we're looking at time. That's what we're interested in. So that's what we're going to collect here is time data. So if I put this back to the start, Okay, so there's no bird on the screen just now. As soon as that bird arrives, I want to click start and time it and then stop when the, the bird is left. So start. Stop. And I'll pause the video there as well. Okay. So 10 seconds, 98 milliseconds. That's that's our first bit of data. So where are we going to put that? You can write it down if you want, but you're already on the computer, so it's probably worthwhile just opening up an Excel spreadsheet. Again, I'm using a Mac, so this might look slightly different depending what format you're using. If I open up a blank workbook, I now, I'm going to close this down a little bit. I have 10 seconds, 98 milliseconds. So where am I going to put that? We've just got a blank workbook. Well, it's important that we're going to have the group of species, so the name of the species. So we're going to have to do some identification before we do that, anything else. Identify the species we're looking at and then record the time spent at the feeding station. So, for example, we may have magpies that we saw. We may have a crested pigeon in there. We may have galahs, starlings. Okay, so we'll go for these four just now. So I would um, maybe use the second row. And this type of data, if you remember from last week, is categorical data. Categorical data. So the bird's either going to be a magpie, a crested pigeon, a galah, starling, or whatever you identify that bird to be. So we have categorical data. And then we have numerical data, which is our time. So although we know it's not a magpie, for argument's sake, we put in 10.98 and we can go through the video like that. So I know that wasn't a magpie, but I don't want to give any answers away. I want you guys to go away and do some taxonomy, classification of the animal species, the bird species, and collect your own data. So say we look at another example here. Say we have multiple bird species on the screen. What do we do? Well, quite simply, we would record the first bird that was in, record it all the way until it leaves, and then go back, rewind the video, and then record the, th the second and potentially the third. So you might have multiple birds at one time, and I've got a good example of it here. So if I click Reset. Okay, so... We have a bird species coming in here, so it's a bit slow off the mark. Can be a bit fiddly, but you get used to it. So when the first bird enters here on the right-hand side, I'm going to press start. Start. Okay, so a second bird has entered as well. So we're just measuring this bird here at the moment. We're just measuring the time spent by this bird here. And when that leaves, I'm going to stop and record. Ah, 
Magpie's back. Okay, he's gone. I'm gonna pause the video. 55 seconds, okay, almost a minute. So we go back to our Excel spreadsheet. I'm not gonna identify that for you. Call this species A. And we have 55.21. I would then go back to where they first arrived. Reset. So now I'm not only interested in the second bird, so not the first bird that appears. This one. Okay, so we need to go back in time. So you will, uh, will you will spend a lot of time doing that, um, because there'll be multiple birds on the the screen at any one time. Um, but we're not um, missing anyone out. So every bird is dedicated. We give it the, the stopwatch as soon as it comes in and as soon as it leaves. And therefore, we're going to increase the amount of data that we can extract from these videos. It's a little bit back and forth. It will take you probably a, a, a couple of hours, maybe more, once you classify the species and record all the data. But that's okay. You didn't need to set up the experiment. You didn't need to go out and do all this. So we're actually saving a lot of time by doing it this way. So again, that one's left. That's a bit slow off the mark there. But we have our second recording there. Okay, so we put that into our Excel spreadsheet. It is the same species, it's a female form. I'm not telling you what one. And we put our data in like that. Okay, so it's fairly straightforward and we're gonna go through all the virtual hides and doing that. And eventually what we'll be able to do is populate this whole area with time spent at the bird feeder. And we'll look at how we can maybe analyze that data and what it will maybe look like um, once you've extracted it all. But that's basically it. So we want to go through these videos using a stopwatch, try and be a bit more accurate than me, um, look at multiple birds that are coming in and get a time for each bird, including the magpie, anything that comes into this the visual view. And we want to record that species. Although they may not be directly feeding our hypothesis was different species would use a different amount of time at the feeding station. So you can see this magpie, for example, is being mobbed. He's not getting much time to spend at the feeder. So that's important. Okay. So there's lots of things going on here. But hopefully that's pretty self-explanatory, pretty straightforward. You're quite happy to go away and do that. And once you have um, populated your Excel spreadsheet, make sure you save it put it somewhere safe and we'll look at the analysis. So maybe look at the next video first before you go away and do all this, but look at the next video. I'm not gonna give anything away, but it's hopefully gonna help you extract the data properly and understand why we're doing it that way. And then we can look at some analysis and see we can start trying to test our hypotheses. Okay, thank you very much.